are non-ruminant herbivores, which means they have a one stomach, which is similar to humans, and they eat plants such as hay. The digestion of a horse is a nine-step process. A horse's digestive system is considered to be split into two parts, the upper gut and the hind gut. The upper gut contains the stomach and the small intestine. The hind gut contains the large intestine. The large intestine itself is theoretically split into three parts, the cecum, the large colon, and the small colon. The process begins first in the milk. Okay, ready? In the mouth, the process of mastication, also known as chewing, and the presence of saliva, which contains enzymes, helps to soften and break down the grass. The stomach is located here to here. The softened food then travels down the esophagus into the stomach. The stomach is very acidic and has a low pH. It contains digestive enzymes, which help break down solid or large pieces of grass or other plant-like materials. The small intestine is located here to about here. The small intestine is considered to be the most important organ of digestion in a horse. There's bile, which is a dark liquid which helps break down fat when present in food. Enzymes and other digestional factors present are here to help break food down into simpler forms. When the food is broken down into its simplest form, this allows nutrients to be absorbed through the lining of the small intestine, similar to a sponge absorbing water. When absorbed, it goes into the bloodstream and then dispersed throughout the body for energy. The large intestine is located from here to about here. The large intestine contains the cecum, the large colon, and the small colon. Each contain bacteria, also known as microbes, which further break down food that have not yet been digested. The rectum contains fecal balls, which are then expelled out through the anus. This produces your end product. Excretion contains multiple fecal balls, which contain undigestible and indigestible food. The main differences in a horse is the size of its stomach and the presence of the cecum and the presence of the gallbladder in a human. So we can see that humans and horses both have one stomach, yet are very different because we consume different foods. Horses' digestive systems are designed to digest only plant-based foods, which is how their digestive systems stay constant and work so efficiently. Because if they were to eat non-vegetative foods, it could later generate into severe gastrointestinal complications. So be good to your horses. <laughs>